Now, if you lot just want to stay down there, completely ignore me. Oh, let's uh, let's get away from the water, shall we? I mean, I don't like having to get closer to the wolves, but I definitely don't want to be that close to the water. Um, nope, Dave, just get up on the ice thing. The weather's starting to turn. I'd really like to... Ah, crap, 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 crap. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby and today we are back in the long dark. And if all goes well, we are going to end this episode in Desolation Point with both a hammer and a hatchet. And I know I jinxed the last episode by actually saying what the plan was going to be for that episode. But the plan for this episode, knock on wood, is yeah, we're going to go from here down to, there's a little like a fishing camp with a trailer down towards the main road. We're going to go down there. We're going to try to get the deer that's right across the road from that. And then, yeah, we're probably just going to skip out to Jackrabbit Island, and then we'll kick back into town, hopefully find a hammer there, and then we will be off to Desolation Point. Uh, okay, well, I think I'm going to try and get another hour or so of just, like, hiding in the bed trying to warm up. And then, yeah, we'll head down and see if we can find that deer. Okay, well, it's supposed to be daylight now. Um, Alright, well, we will actually explore the trailer with the lantern. Yeah, turned out the deer that was supposed to spawn over across the street here did not actually spawn. I'm pretty sure you guys probably saw that, or at least I know I left it in on the edit. Uh, okay, well, actually, we just found some water, which is really handy. I will take this flare, even though it's not quite as good as a red one. Now, is there anything good in here? Because we are also... Apparently kind of desperate for water, and I didn't realize that either. Oh, and food. So yeah, we'll take the tomato soup. We'll have a quick look in here. Please have something good. That is not something good. Take the soda. A quick peek under the beds. I don't see anything. Nope. I want to grab a book. Thanks. Okay, we'll actually take the newsprint. We'll check this container. Please have food. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, it was almost food. Okay, another piece of cloth I will definitely take, because one of the things we can do is we can actually make either hand wraps or a head wrap here really quick. I'm pretty sure i got a sewing kit on me. Uh, let's start with... Now, you know what? We'll go with the head wrap. Why not? So I'm going to take half an hour. Oh, shoot. I should have turned my lantern off. You idiot. Okay, well, let's uh, holster that now that it's almost dead. Okay, do I actually have any lantern fluid on me? I do not know. Oh, I do. Excellent. Okay, well, no. Wanted to refuel that. Thank you. Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. So let's holster that up real quick. Let's grab the flare. And let's stick our heads out and see if maybe there's an axe over here. Because one of the potential spawn points you can find an axe at on this map is sticking out of one of these stumps. So... No axe in that stump, unfortunately. Not that one either. Tell you what, I won't say no to a stick, though. There was there. Oh, yeah, okay, there's another couple of sticks around here. 
Is there another stump somewhere that might have an axe in it? I cannot for the life of me remember exactly which stump it is that the axe spawns in, but it is one of these ones. Okay, I'm not seeing it in any of the stumps out here. So I think we might as well just grab a couple of sticks and head on over to Jackrabbit. <sighs> Hello, random wolf. Oh, you know what? If we do this quickly enough... Thank you, Dave. I was going to say, if we do this quickly enough, we can get in here, do a quick search, take a pry bar. I don't know if I have one on me or not, so we might as well grab it. And then, yeah, as long as that deer hasn't wandered off, we can push that towards the wolves, distract them, and sneak over to the Jackrabbit Island that way. Hello, peaches. Thank you very much. Anything under the stove? Not seeing anything. Okay, deer, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Yes, run in that direction, please, and thank you. Go, 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 go. I kind of wanted you to go more that way. Okay, well, I'm going to keep swinging wide of the wolves, and we'll just head over to the next ice hut in line. And then, hopefully, from there, we can cut up onto the island without getting attacked. Okay, well, so far, so good. Although the weather's not exactly looking all that cooperative. Okay, we're getting good in here. Ooh, firewood, yes, please. Tell me you got more food, more water, and more goodies, and I will be a happy camper. Nope, that's not goodies, that's garbage. Okay, yes, yeah, search the drawer, please. Loose print, you know what, we'll take it. In fact, once we get up to Jackrabbit Island, I think we're going to have to probably do a little bit of inventory management. Now, if you lot just want to stay down there, completely ignore me. Oh, let's, uh, let's get away from the water, shall we? I mean, I don't like having to get closer to the wolves, but I definitely don't want to be that close to the water. Um, nope, Dave, just get up on the ice thing. The weather's starting to turn. I'd really like to... Ah, crap, 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 crap. How about we just go inside? Might have to drop some gear. Dave, you're fine. We're here, we're about to go inside, we're about to warm up, and we are about to do some inventory management. Ah, uh, okay, well, so far, this trip has been absolutely fraught. Okay, well, we got matches, that's a good sign. Actually, I'm just gonna grab everything, since we're gonna be going through stuff anyway. Yeah, it's probably not gonna hurt to just load up here. Okay, not gonna grab that. Definitely want the lantern, though. Okay, you got anything in the cabinet? This stuff will come in handy. No, it will not. I mean, if I'm gonna get cloth, I might as well just get it here. We do appear to be warming up, so it's not like this is going to be a bad thing. In fact, I think I'll break down both curtains, and then we'll not only make the hand wraps, we'll make some bandages as well. Because I don't know how many of those I've got on me. Okay, that would appear to be it for in here. Now, food. Please, for the love of God, have some food. Hope I can still eat this. I hope you can too, because we're going to have that for lunch. Okay, anything else in here? Tea we will take... Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take more milk. And nothing. Oh, I forgot the overheads. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's got nothing. Beans I will definitely take. And... Nothing. Okay, well, let's grab the flour. Check the microwave for tea or coffee. No tea or coffee. Pretty sure there's nothing going to be on the floor. Alright, well, so far so good. How about the bedroom? Oh, I would love to have that, but no, can't wear it. Against the rules. Okay, nothing on the shelves. I don't see anything under the bed. Um, Dave, you can stop crouching now, thank you. More water, yes please. In fact, taking a drink might be a pretty good idea. Oh, hello, Frostbite. Okay, penicillin. Nothing under the bed. Oh, I forgot I gotta do the drawers one at a time. Nothing. Could end Socks. up being useful. Nope, not gonna end up being useful at all. I don't even need to shred them. I think I've probably got enough books. I'll just leave that one there. Container's got nothing. Toilet's got two liters. We'll definitely grab that. Uh, big fat nothing in the tub. Big fat nothing in the cabinet. And medicine cabinet has... Where's the good stuff? 
That's what I've been wondering. I was kind of hoping for a stim just then, but apparently not. Okay, well, that's all cleared out, so let's go out here in the kitchen. Let's do a little bit of management, see what we need and what we don't. Oh, and you know what? It probably wouldn't hurt to get rid of some of this frostbite risk, so I think we'll do that, and then we'll do some inventory management. Alright, game. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. And now we've only got a sprain risk. Uh, okay, so we have got in our inventory... Uh, let's actually start with the fire supplies. 32 coal is absolutely perfect. We definitely want that because we're going to be doing a fair bit of fires, I think, on the uh, trip over to Desolation Point. So you know what? That's all good enough. We'll leave that as it is. I think we probably do not need this much penicillin. Uh, yeah, drop them all. Drop them all. That's fine. We've only got one anesthetic, one bandage. Oh, I was going to make another bandage, too. i got to remember to do that. Clothing, we've only got our hat. Food. Actually, we don't have as much water as I thought we did. How about tools? I'm thinking I can probably just drop this. I mean, that's a kilo I don't need to be lugging around. Then we can actually scrap this. That'll give us some lantern fuel and another piece of scrap metal. Alright, it's not really helping the overall weight situation, but it is better than nothing. Now you, how much have you got in you? Not quite half, so let's refuel you up. Kind of like that. And now, really quick, we will go into... Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, we're going to go into crafting. We're going to make our hand wraps we haven't done yet. Oh, you know what? I bet I haven't actually put any of this stuff on. <laughs> uh, can I not make a bandage? Did I really use all my cloth? Okay, well, here, Dave, before I forget again, how about we put the hat on and the little midi mitts on. And then we're going to go really quick, harvest another curtain or two. That's going to give us two. That should be plenty. Yeah, we'll harvest the curtain. We'll make a couple bandages, and then we'll see if we can't make it to the gas station. Oh, okay. Weather does not look good. So apparently, we're going to be staying here for a little bit longer. There you go, Digby. A little bit foggy, but you know what? You can travel. Okay, now we get to find out exactly how lucky or unlucky we are. Because over here, we have the potential for wolves and bears and mooses, oh my. I'm not seeing any moose. I do see something down there, and that looks like it might be a wolf. No sign of the bear. I mean, I hate to waste the flare if I don't have to, so I might actually try and see if we can run around the front and outrace him. Oh, no, never mind, he heard us. Hi, Mr. Wolfie. You want to follow me to the gas station? You can. Wretched thing. Here, dude, have a flare. Oh my god, my throws are so weak. Okay, bedroll, yes please. Oats, tomato soup. Ah, oh, food galore. We might have to make... Come in handy. Well, it's not going to, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Yeah, we might have to make another uh, stash over here as well. Although, quite frankly, I'm not all that interested in coming back here if we don't have to. Alright, what else do we got? Newsprint will take... Oh, you know what? Rifle cartridges I will take, because I can use those... Are you an actual bullet? I think yeah, I you're an actual this. bullet. I want the empty ones. I want casings, not cartridges. Yeah, we're going to need those to make the uh, fishing lures and stuff, which I definitely want to do. Especially since you can set them up outside the Riken in Desolation Point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. Two more flares, yes, please. That's another thing we really, this really, really need to get more of is flares. Stop interrupting me when I'm talking, Dave. Wow, we have absolutely hit the... Uh, soda mother load over here I was gonna call it sprite there for a second but other brands are available okay anything good in the bathroom no we'll definitely take the water 
and tools. I'm just going to actually stick out here so I can keep track of them. Pretty sure I'm not going to use them for anything, but you never know. All right, locker. Nothing. I think... I'm pretty sure I got a pry bar, right? Okay, yeah, I do have a pry bar. And more nothing. Thank you for locking an empty locker. Don't start yawning now, Dave. We got miles to go before we sleep. And whoops. Why am I getting so much penicillin in this run? Are you trying to tell me something, game? Alright, well, hopefully we don't need any of it. So we got no tools out here. Nothing over here on the crate. And then hiding down underneath. I don't see anything under there. Hacksaw is definitely an improvement. We will take that. We'll take the jerry can so we can refill our uh, lantern. So in case, yeah. There's got to be something useful in here. Thank you, Dave. All right. Moment of truth. Please, can I have a hatchet or a hammer or both? Another hacksaw. More scrap metal. Definitely need it. No. No. Feathers yet? You know what? I'll take feathers. And nothing. Die if I don't warm up soon. Oh crap, Dave! Don't worry about it. We'll get you warmed up here in a second. Okay, we've got to try and find a hatchet and a hammer first. Okay, more soon. Yeah, we are definitely gonna have to leave stuff here. I'm thinking. Okay, nothing. Please give me a hatchet. Thank you for absolutely nothing. Holy crap! I am moving slow. <laughs> no, that's fine. We can make a big stash in here. All right, hopefully the sun's up. The sun is up. Ah, okay, now we need to drop some stuff. We are getting really, really close to being dangerously overweight. I'm thinking we probably don't need this many books, so let's get rid of three of those. And then we've got a bunch of this crap we probably don't need. Actually, the newsprint weighs more than that does, so how about we drop... We'll drop six of those, and then we'll drop three of these... Uh, two, three, drop. That's got us down to 42, which is still not great. We might as well just keep all three penicillins. Okay, we don't need to worry about clothing. Uh, I kind of hate to get rid of the baking stuff, but there's really no point lugging it around if we don't have a cooking pot or a frying pan. Okay, what else can we ditch? We've got... I mean, everything else is kind of food-related, and I'd really like to keep it. I'm thinking when we've got our lantern full... We probably don't need this much lantern fuel, so let's just drop that. That's got us down to 37. We definitely don't need... Oh, actually, we might need the sewing kits here eventually. Uh, you know what? I feel like 37 is not terrible. I'm just going to really quick do one last check around, make sure there's no hammer somewhere that I missed, and then I think we're going to head out. Okay, are we going to get attacked immediately? We are not. Now, would it be better to follow the road or try and go out on the ice a little bit? I think we might be better off trying to follow the road. In fact, I might be a little bit of a scaredy pants here and just take off running for all I'm worth. Uh, really quick, can anything good in the car? Don't see anything good. Hi! Oh, no, nope. you know what? Flare's not going to help with that. Come on, Dave, I need you to get up on this rock, and I need you to get up on this rock right bloody now. Alright, you following me, dude? Where'd you go? I think we ditched him. Um, I mean, I would like to be able to see him so that I could know for a fact that we ditched him. But, yeah, basically the plan here was that I was going to get up on this rock, and if he started chasing me, I was going to jump down to there where he can't actually reach me, and then we were going to pretty much just wet ourselves. Okay, so, things we would like to find here in the house. I am thinking a can opener would be really handy. Uh, you know what? It's actually kind of gloomy in here, so we might as well use some of our lantern fuel. And light the place up. Okay, what do we got? Anything good? What have we here? Matches we will take. No flare under the couch. And we've got nothing on the shelves. 
Nothing over there. Anything under the bench? Nothing under the bench. How about over here? That's a big fat nothing. Uh, okay, well, please have something good in the kitchen then. I can always use more food. Oh, do I really want to lug around a chunk of meat and be all stinky for 500 calories? You know what? No, I don't think I do, actually. Um, okay, nothing on those shelves. Oh, hello. I almost missed you, dog food. I'll definitely take that. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, nobody needs it, including you, Dave. All right, coffee? No. Anything good in the cabinets? Tea I will take. Nothing in there. We'll grab the salt really quick. Nothing in there. Oh, I really hope we can find some cooking supplies in Desolation Point, because I'm going to be seriously bummed if I don't get to do any baking here soon. Okay, nada, nada, probably nada. Take the tater, take the oats. And here we've got nothing. More nothing, nothing in there, and nothing in the stove. Oh, you know what? Forgot the overhead cabinets again. Thank goodness. Who the hell keeps soda in the kitchen cabinet? Alright, I think that's the kitchen done. Salty crackers, always a plus. Is there a knife sticking out of the dresser? There's not. Crap. Okay, well, we've got nothing. 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 Appears to be a recurring theme at the moment. And... This will come in handy. No, it won't. Nothing and nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. How about a container? Anything in here? Nope, still nothing. Nothing under the bed on that side. We will definitely take the water, though. Nothing under the bed over here. I can barely walk with this much gear. Yeah, I know. Dave, we're going to sort it out. Relax. It's going to get worse before it gets better, buddy, because we still need the toilet water. Alright, nothing in the sink. Medicine cabinet's got... Bandage, that's fine. We will always take bandages. Nothing in there and nothing in the tub. Okay, well, let's head downstairs and let's do even more inventory management. Okay, now what don't we need? We don't need... We honestly don't really need two books. You know what? We're going to drop those. I do want to hang on to the coal because we're going to drop that at the forge as soon as we get to Desolation Point. Medicine's fine. Clothing's clothing. It's all good. Probably don't need to lug the salt around. Or the oats. I really hope I can remember where I left all this crap when the time comes. Alright, we're down under 40 kilos, which to me feels pretty good. So, let's see if we can actually make it to Desolation Point before I run out of recording time.
Okay, we are gonna check this car because it's the last point of interest on this map. So what do we got? We've got... Nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything in the back seat. I don't see anything in the front seat. It's not much warmer in here either. Oh my god, is this car really empty? Oh, nope, got a candy bar. And... A message. Is there a key on it? Nope, just a memento with this probably. You know what? That's a problem for another day, Digby. At the moment, you need to worry about finding somewhere to be that is not outside in this storm. Okay, I am thinking it's emergency protocol time because we are about to go two bars into the red, and I don't want to do that. Plus, we've got all the frostbite and hypothermia and all that other fun stuff to deal with. So, you know what? Let's have an energy drink. And let's take off running. Hello, Firewood. I'll definitely take you. Yeah, it looks like we're probably not going to make Desolation Point today, but we should be able to make it to the basement of the, uh... Actually, I can't remember the name of who the house owners were, but, yeah, there's a burned-out house over here with the basement, and it looks like we are going to be staying in there for a while. That is assuming we can get to it. Ah, okay, it's the Harrises that own the place. All right, well, Mr. and Mrs. Harris, hopefully you don't mind if I avail myself of your hospitality. All right, we're going to get down here. We're going to put the bedroll down, and we are going to warm up and get rid of some of these uh, risks that we currently have. Well, we got two out of three gone. There's another Aurora, and I would like to point out, uh, you guys won't know this because I probably will have edited out most of the sleeping stuff, but there has been an Aurora pretty much every single night in this entire episode. Uh, okay, well, I think it might just be a better plan to spend the night here and worry about getting to Desolation Point in the morning, because, yeah, I have pretty much no interest at this point in the game in actually traveling during an Aurora. So it looks like next episode we're going to head for Desolation Point, and if we don't find a hammer and a hatchet over there, I am going to be about as cheesed off as I have ever been in my life. And on that note of trepidation, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Long Dark, and yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.